working as a working as a CDMO with highly active substances. Is that possible? This is the question that we will answer today. Hello and welcome to my blog and welcome to Zemke. Thank you for being my guest here. Til Zemke is Head of Operations at Pharmaceutical Services from Glatt in Binsen here, and he's responsible for the production, for all the production uh, at this site. Pharmaceutical Services is a company which has high, high expertise on uh, um, developing uh, products from the very start and uh, also um, producing uh, products for uh, pharmaceutical partners as a CDMO. Till, I'd like to know, are you affected with the trend to more and more highly active products in the pharmaceutical industry? Hello, Michael. Uh, thank you for introducing and I'm happy to be here. And yes, we are. Uh, there is an increasing demand for more effective and uh, better targeted medication in general. Um, a significant number of new drugs contain highly active mm. um, pharmaceutical ingredients. Also, the trend to outsource to reliable partners is still unbroken um, for manufacturing as well as for the development, development activities. In combination, this is leading uh, to a strong demand for processing of highly active substances, especially for CDMOs like we are. Mm. Till, how do you approach this challenge? How do you work with highly active substances uh, as a CDMO? Well, at first, we love challenges. That's what we deal with every day. And we are a multi-purpose CDMO, meaning we handle both highly active substances, not all of them, some, and also lower potent material, uh, what still is the majority. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the permission to deal with uh, controlled substances, and we handle a lot of different organic solvents. So. Um, our general approach is to produce under technical conditions for early phase and development projects on the one hand and also under CGMP for clinical phase material and other commercial products. Mm. And, and how do you handle then uh, highly active substances? This is also a little bit special. It all happens under one roof in one facility and only works out well because, let me state, our excellence in technical and scientific aspects. So tell me, what are the key goals when you are handling active products? The key goals, well, at first I think they are the same for everybody working in this business. We must avoid any harm to our employees and the environment. And the potential for risk con uh, for cross contamination has to be absolutely ruled out, mm -hmm. and these musts are not negotiable for us. Yeah, um, we are operating, and I believe it's the same for many other companies. We are operating in an area and with equipment that has not originally been planned or engineered for the handling mm -hmm. of highly substance, highly active substances. So, but you do work with highly active substances and, uh, well, how do you do that? Did you invest a lot in, in new techniques? Yes, in fact, we do. And until now, we did not have to invest heavily in special containment solutions or our infrastructure. But to be able to handle more critical and higher classes with very low OEL, maybe starting with one microgram per cubic meter or even below, I would for sure need higher invest and um, better engineered, maybe customized solutions and containments. Mm. And here we are working with products down to which OER level? Down to one is possible. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah. But, well, some discussions probably will always end up with the need of dedicated equipment or even dedicated buildings or facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are working with better lactam, so, so it's clear, it must be dedicated and there's no way out. No way out, no. Yeah. 
So how do you decide that you are uh, how to work with a certain substance with highly active potential? Yeah, for us there is no black and white. So we perform the fundamental risk assessment over the whole process stream to identify the riskiest steps. Um, this gave us the possibility to take appropriate measures where they are needed, not mm. everywhere, by spreading money all over the place. Yeah, this um, is what we call the, the critical operations. You have to observe especially those critical observations. Yeah, by this we were able to identify the weakest um, points and take appropriate measures. Yeah. Uh, this was an important step and still is a fundamental basis for further and individual con considerations. For each and every new compound, a team of experts will start a so-called new product evaluation. Mm -hmm. And crucial for this evaluation is the fact that we are not talking about handling the active pharmaceutical ingredient purely all over the process stream. We try to implement pre-processing steps in order to reduce the potence uh, of the API right away. And as we all know, powders are more critical than um, liquids. And at the end, the concentration um, makes the poison. And I'm sure uh, the toxic substance will be diluted in some way. Physical characteristics change over the process. Barriers like, for example, coatings will build up. And all these aspects can make a difference. They yeah. can change they the game. They do make a difference, yeah. yeah. At the end, the decision itself depends on various factors like toxicity, concentration, formulation, process steps, and also the scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You certainly don't want to tell us all your secrets, but maybe there's one or the other uh, hint how to handle such highly active products. Okay, no, no, no problem. I will list some of them and try not to dive deeper into the content. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to start with HVAC systems and pressure cascades. Mm -hmm. We'll certainly need a good concept for yeah. that. Um, next thing to mention are isolators or glove boxes. I think they are really common and uh, yeah. helpful. For handling API, for instance. Yeah. What we also have, and I really like, are our mobile air lockers. And mm -hmm. They help us to uh, separate single production compartments and isolate them. What shall not be underestimated is a well-equipped quality lab um, to ensure reliable proof of successful cleaning operations. Yeah. Yeah. And last but for sure not least, is a highly skilled and well-trained staff. So personal is really essential. Yeah, that's essential, that's clear. If people are just doing like usual, this might be difficult for highly active products. Mm -hmm. To unravel the mystery a bit, there's no real secret. It's all about the risk-based approach. Um, smart combination of the design of drug products containment, solutions, personal protection, and expertise. Hmm. Yeah, we see that uh, working with highly active uh, products is, uh, well, challenging, but it's manageable. You will have to do a risk assessment and you need your good and well-trained uh, people to do the job as good as possible, but then you can handle also highly active substances. So that's it for today. Stay safe and stay healthy and until next time.